If you want to find out what I have tried and loved lately and the resulting purchases, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elen and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or hmm, Makeup. I have a number of items in front of me, mostly non eyeshadow palette related. I know who am I? Uh, and I want to walk through all of these products with you. They're very few, actually, it's a handful, but it's enough for me to want to uh, talk about it and uh, get you aware of them before I just move on to, to other things and just use it kind of um, off camera, uh, off the, <laughs> the channel, and just use them day to day and, and have them just as part of my makeup collection or, or skincare collection. So I'm going to uh, go into them right now. I can't stop looking at them. They're right in front of me in, on the counter, uh, but I cannot wait to uh, to talk to you about it. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, just as I was doing the intro, I had my battery light flashing <laughs> on my camera. So I did take care of that as well, and we're all good to go. Um, if you want to know what is on my face today as far as makeup, I'm going to say please take a look at the next video. I will be talking about what is on my face. I will leave you in suspense for now, and we'll talk about it, like I said, in the next video. Okay. We are talking about products that I have basically discovered over the last little while that I am uh, either needed to explore or am now obsessed over uh, or that it just replaced something that I couldn't get anymore. So that is pretty much what, what I have in front of me that I keep staring at. I want to go over just a couple sam samples that I received for uh, having picked up a few of these things. Uh, and go then go into uh, the products in question. Now for samples, I have a couple of uh, packets here. I did get a couple of the packets of the Boom Boom Body uh, Firmeza oil. So a uh, firming body oil, I guess. I've got two of those, an Iconic London Illuminator, which I am interested in trying as a highlighter, and the Dermalogica uh, Phyto Nature Oxygen Cream. No idea what that is. But I'm kind of curious about it, so I will check it out. If it's anything that is wowing me, I will report back. Now the next set of samples are samples I am familiar with. Uh, these are two Juliet Has a Gun, and it's a, not a perfume, perfume. <laughs> I really like this fragrance, and for some reason I'm just not buying it, even though I really like it, and maybe it's because the samples are too easy to get a hold of, but it's the typical typical uh, perfume sample. I'm not sure why they feel they need to put it in a big box, but uh, I did get two of those, and I'm very happy. Usually I can get two to three days out of each, and I have two of them, so that's really nice. And speaking of fragrance, I also did pick up this Clean Reserve. It was a, um, a deluxe uh, sample at Sephora, and it is a it's a deluxe sample. It's bigger than the uh, Juliet has a gun. It is this clean reserve and it's an oil. Uh, the scent is Radiant Nectar. And what does it say? It's a uh, Eau de Parfum Rollerball. And it has how much in it? It has three mil in it. And the, the bottle looks like this. So for a sample, it's, it's very cute. And we'll go uh, with my little perfume display over there for uh, deluxe sample sizes. So I'm happy with this, uh, this clean little uh, rollerball and then the couple of Juliet has a gun, uh, not a perfume. I'm really happy with, uh, with the samples and I'm looking just to make sure that I didn't miss any samples. No, I did not. So that is it. We're moving into the full size products. I want to talk lip balm right up front and the reason I want to talk about the lip balms uh, right up front is that I was not happy going into my Shoppers Drug Mart and seeing that uh, if I wanted a Burt's Bees lip balm, I had to pay $6 a piece. And that was just too much. And I ended up finding a set of four for uh, $15. So if you do the math, it's a lot better 
<laughs> than six dollars a piece, but it's still expensive for four. So I uh, I did pick it up, yes, but um, I'm I'm happy because it's it's a lot cheaper than what the other options were. But it's still four dollars and change for each one, right? Uh, and it, it is cute. I mean, it's it was a leftover from the holidays, so it's cranberry spritz, which is the first one that I ended up uh, using, shortbread cookie, uh, salted caramel, and then peppermint. So it's a it's a very cute set of four. It will last me for a while. But I also wanted to try something else that was not Burt's Bees, just to get it again a little bit lower because I use lip balm a lot, uh, especially in the winter in my city, Winnipeg, or we call it Winterpeg, I need the, the relief on my lips. And, uh, and so four will not, will not last me the whole season. So I decided to try something else. One thing I want to mention before I show you the other product is that this Carmex Classic Lip Balm is something else that I tried. It has no uh, scent or flavor to it. It's very kind of almost medicinal, so I'm not huge on it. I, I put it in my jackets just as a, uh, a lip saver, basically, but uh, it came in a pack of three and it was it was a lot cheaper than the Burt's Bees, but it, it's not it, meh. <laughs> so I do still have three of these and I'll put them in my jackets as, as um, an easy product to just leave in each one of my jackets because because I have them uh, and it's better than nothing right to use them uh, but I would not recommend Carmex it is it soothing yes but it doesn't taste great and it it's it's just not Burt's Bees and it's not flavored so yeah I, I don't think I would re repurchase this so what did I get it as a replacement well, for less than $1.70 Canadian each, I was able to get eight of these Coca-Cola and uh, Coca-Cola, what, uh, I guess it's, it is the Coca-Cola company because all of these brands are Coca-Cola based. Um, so I decided to get, what, it's eight, and it turns out to be one sixty-seven dollars each Canadian. So uh, it's the best deal that I've been able to, to get. Uh, and we will just see if it is as good as um, the other lip balms that I've been using. And it's a tall order for it to be as good as Bird's Bees. But I will try them and see what I think. Of course, I'll just try one or two at a time. I'm not going to be having <laughs> eight lip balms plus Bird's Bees plus everything else going. Uh, but I am hoping that these are good enough that I will have fixed my lip balm situation for at least a year. So hopefully the at 167 each, I think it's what it was, 167 Canadian each, not a bad price. Before I get to anything else, there's one other deluxe sample I want to talk to you about, and that is this Tarte uh, Tartlet uh, Tubing Mascara. I ended up putting that on my lashes today, and I do like the effect it does give me long lashes, uh, but not clumpy lashes. And I did put two coats on and it worked pretty well. What I did is um, the first coat I, I went underneath, then I went on the upper side, as in this side of my lashes, and then went back uh, underneath again. And I liked the, the result that I got. Uh, and I have something in my eye. It's not, it has nothing to do with the mascara. <laughs> I think I have a lash in my eye. Um, I like it so far. I need to see how it is going to be when I try to take it off because tubing mascara can be very interesting. You're supposed to use just warm water and just kind of uh, brush it off. We'll see how it works. I, that's why I'm always nervous about tubing mascara because it's very different from regular mascara. But um, it's, it's my first time trying it. I don't mind it at all. I think it did a good job, uh, but I want to use it a few more times before I have my final verdict. So this is a first impressions of this Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Finally, there is a product that I have been using and using and using, and did I say I was using it? And using. <laughs> and it's, it's used so much that you can barely see any writing on the container. And it is a lip oil from Siate London. 
uh, and what does it say here? Watermelon burst lip oil. Uh, it's based on what I can still see on the on the package, and it is a um, a typical. Oh, there's a hair on it. Their typical um, cheaper version of the dispenser, and it's it's fine. That I have no problem with it. It is very. It feels very nourishing. It feels very soothing, and it tastes great. And it was a sample size that I received as part of the advent calendar from Siate this past year, which uh, my friend Steph got for me a uh, second year in a row, which was fantastic. Thank you, Steph. That was so nice of you to do. Um, and I still have this much, and I have been using it and using it and using it and using it. And a little goes a long way uh, with it. It's great. And it is, I was worried that it was going to be goopy and it would get into my clothing or whatever if I tried to put it in a pocket, but apparently it it does a good job of not uh, not leaking, so I'm, I've been pretty happy about it. Uh, but it is it is pretty small. That is not a full size by any means. And so when I saw that Sephora had a full size of this for half the price, they had a number of items at 50% off on uh, Sephora Canada. I picked up a couple, and so and they're a little bit dressier. For your lips than a, uh, a lip balm. So if my lips are dry and I still want something on my lips, this is the product I want to use. And so it looks like this, Watermelon Burst. And it is a larger size, obviously, than the sample that I received. So that's the difference right there. And it's the same thing, watermelon burst, hydrating lip oil, and how much is there in here? Uh, 10 mil is what is in each one of these, and I, I did purchase two. So as far as lip oil is concerned, I should be okay for a couple of years. And I'm happy about that because uh, in the winter time, I don't like wearing lipsticks that tend to dry my lips because my lips get so dry to begin with. This is a lovely product. Uh, to use instead of that and because it's a lip oil you can easily wipe it off if you, you're going to wear a scarf and then you can reapply it once you're you're into a, a building so i i really think that this is going to be my go-to uh next year for winter and that's it there's not a whole lot to talk about uh i just wanted to show you some products that i had coveted that I was really looking for and I still have some palette swatches and uh, reveals coming up uh, if you have not seen them yet I will put a couple of videos right there for uh, Natasha Denona products uh, that you can take a look at that I have uh, swatched and I think that's it let me know if you have any questions on any of the products and uh, I look forward to hearing uh, what you think of them if you have tried them uh, or intend to try them. And yeah, that's it. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching this uh, very short video of goodies. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.